Cephasticus lanusus, or the signal crayfish, is a crayfish species member of the Asticidae family, which is indigenous to the Pacific Northwest. Its native range ranges from northern California to southern British Columbia and east to western Montana. However, through widespread human introductions, it has spread to Japan, most of North America, and even Europe, where it thrives as an invasive species. We now attempt to catch a live specimen of the signal crayfish. To do this, we will be going on the shores of Lake Washington, an urban lake in the heart of the Seattle metro area. If we are able to catch one of these specimens, we will be able to learn more about it and its behavior and its possible impact throughout its non-native range. As part of the equipment I will be using for this uh, research is my specially developed underwater camera, which you can see here. Yes, it is uh, extremely well designed and uh, should withstand uh, just about anything we will encounter. All right, uh, well, right now we are about to initiate our mission to catch the single crayfish, so I'll be jumping in. Basket of stuff for a few more months, try and get whatever more. It's very pleasant in here. Water is warm. The water is very cold, so I do not have very much time to stay here without dying. While our expert is searching for this uh, crayfish, we will talk a little bit more about its habitat. P. Linusculus can inhabit an extreme range of habitats and tolerate a wide range of environmental conditions. It can inhabit any type of freshwater environment small creeks, large rivers, ponds, lakes, and is even known to tolerate brackish water in high temperatures. This species is also an extremely active species and can migrate throughout a body of water as well as over obstacles on land. They tend to be more active during the night and often during the day to hide underneath rocks or other cover. Here it is. First signal crayfish. You have to be very careful when handling these animals. Because they have some tenacious chile. Oh yeah, look at how it's trying to to defend itself. This defensive position. Let's now learn more about this species. This species has a, a very normal type of reproduction for the Astesidae family. P. linusculus is considered to have the reproductive cycle of a cool temperate zone species. It typically reaches sexual maturity between 2 and 3 years of age and a length of 6 to 9 centimeters. Reproduction typically occurs in the fall where a female lays between 200 and After 400 eggs. After being brooded for 7 to 8 months by the female, the eggs hatch into juvenile crayfish. These crayfish are almost morphologically identical to the adults, as they undergo the nopoly larvae stage inside the egg. However, they still remain with their mother for three live stages, two of these molds. In the third stage, they begin gradually moving away from their mother, and eventually gain full independence. Estimates suggest that the survival rates of sexual maturity range from 12% to 52%. These rates are greatly affected by competition and cannibalism, which can greatly affect survival in overly dense populations. The diet of Linusculus can vary widely across its different habitats. This species is an opportunistic polytrophic feeder. It can eat basically anything. 
This means that it plays a crucial role as a detritivore by consuming decomposing organic material found at the bottom of various bodies of water. Signal crayfish are also a crucial part of the food chain, providing food for many fish like trout, bass, and perch, as well as many birds like geese and herons. They also provide food for turtles and even small land mammals like raccoons and rats. The signal crayfish is also commercially harvested in the western United States, especially in the states of Washington and Oregon. However, the larva just harvest is from an introduced population in the Sacramento River in California. As a subsequent success, this species was also introduced into Europe in hope of restoring crayfish population to pre-plague levels. However, these efforts were for the most part unsuccessful, as the commercial catches have been relatively low. On the other hand, these crayfish have proved to be a devastating invasive species, often jeopardizing local ecosystems. Species main trait that allows it to be such a successful invasive species is its, is its ability to move outside of the water. We will now test how well these uh, species can move outside the water to assess the real danger with their pose to environments that are not in their native range. As you can see here, the signal crayfish has absolutely no trouble moving outside of the water. This renders it extremely dangerous in foreign location where it is not native, as it is easily able to transplant itself from one area to the other. The signal crayfish is now common in Europe, where it is transplanted in order to try and create a fishery. However, it is now spread across much of the continent, and it poses a threat to many native ecosystems, and especially competing native crayfish populations, which are often outcompeted by the single crayfish.